Okay, so let's go through the land business. What I'm going to do is bring up the uh, ranch description here and see if I can get these to show up at the same time. And as you look at the land business description, uh, we've put it in the in the ranch here. You can print that out and have it have it on hand if you want there now. And um, essentially, the ranch is 12,000 acres, and it's uh, divided into upland ground, which averages 0.3 AUM per acre. If you're not familiar with the AUM term, uh, we'll have some more learning guides uh, under the Ranch Practicum site that'll walk through what that means and how to interpret that. But essentially an AUM is 800 pounds. So so this produces 0.3 of 800 pounds per acre. Uh, 325 acres of hay meadow, 125 acres of wetland riparian ground, and it produces 2.5 AUMs per acre. And uh, so, so let's build that in. So we go to our land spreadsheet, and again, we start on the left, and uh, we know we have some, let's bring that back up now, if I can see that at the same time. I'll have to scroll down here just a hair, or up, I guess. Okay. So the ranch consists of 12,000 acres of upland ground that averages 0.3 AUMs per acre. So feel free to change these terms on the side. So let's call this our uplands, okay? And we have 12,000 acres of that, and it produces 0.3 AUMs per acre. Okay, so it does the math for us, and the total AUM productivity on that is going to be 3,600. So then let's bring in our next land type, and whatever makes sense to you on your ranch as to how to express this. But what we're looking for is a total productivity, and we've chosen to use AUMs as our as our figure. Uh, 325 acres of hay meadow and 125 acres of wetland riparian ground, and each of those produce 2.5. Okay, so riparian, that's 125, and it produces 2.5, and our hay meadow, it was, now I've, I've got a short memory, um, 325 acres of that, 325, and it also produces 2.5 AUMs per acre. Now we want to give a value to those AUMs. Uh, an AUM is not a cow-calf pair. An AUM is the amount of grass needed to support a thousand pound animal with a small calf at their side for one month, um, about 800 pounds of grass. So if a cow-calf pair, it, it, you know, you're talking a, a 12 to 1400 pound cow, that's about 1.2 AUMs to 1.4 AUMs. So if a cow calf pair is, if an AUM is seventeen dollars, then seventeen times 1.3 as an average, that's the same as about a twenty-two dollar cow calf pair month. Okay. So depending on what grass is worth in your area, this is probably pretty light for this year, and we're in 2012. So I'm going to raise this to eighteen dollars in AUM. Okay. So what the what the program does then is it does the math that adds up these total AUMs. The ranch produces 4,725 AUMs during whatever kind of year we're talking about here, which might be an average year. Um, and and those AUMs are valued at eighteen dollars. So the total gross potential of the forage value on this ranch is eighty-five thousand dollars. So if, if we were to essentially lease out all the grass on this ranch or cash lease this ranch out for, for grass, we would expect that value to be right around $85,000. Okay, so now let's put some costs on that side of things. And, and here are our different cost categories for our land business. Now these are the production costs. So, so we're gonna, probably going to pay some tax on that ranch and go down here to our to our land business, our, our description of it again, and, and there are the values right there. So we're going to pay $8,000 worth of tax. Okay, so let's put that in there. Uh, range improvements, so maybe we're going to spend $10,000 a year on stock tanks, fences, whatever whatever we're going to spend. That'd be new fences, those kind of things uh, that we're going to spend annually on range improvements. Irrigation water costs. Maybe this ranch is in a, an irrigation district and they pay $5,000 a year for irrigation water. Okay, so we're going to put a 5,000 in there. And again, change these categories to fit. If you've got a state land and a BLM land payment, uh, you might want to put that in there um, just, just so it's handled somewhere. Um, forage production costs, and these would be things like uh, it might be a sprinkler depreciation, uh, ditch maintenance, um, those kind of things. What does it cost you to produce the grass on your ranch? Um, and so let's let's add that in here. Forage production costs. 
and if you do have like sprinkler depreciation no, that should be three thousand that you want to keep track of separate we'll create a create a column for it create a spot for it okay what else do we have in here utilities that the land business is going to pay for okay we'd and maybe we have utilities uh, that, that the cow business pays for like uh, some um, outside wells some stock wells that are on rea or something like that so these would be utilities that the land business pays for two thousand four hundred dollars oops shoot I was looking at something else utilities two thousand four hundred and uh, there's some there's a number for ditch maintenance that was when I added in for another rancher I was working with um, hired labor okay this again this would be hired labor for the land business so if you leased out the ranch uh, would you still have some hired labor expenses and if so put those in there uh, we can take with any of these expenses like fuel cost a good thing to do is take your total fuel bill so let's say you have uh, $20,000 that you pay annually in fuel costs um, okay so what I would suggest you do is is on a piece of scratch paper put that number down and then list the different enterprises on your ranch so maybe you have cow calf maybe you have stalker maybe you have hay and maybe you have land and then just start splitting that that expense out so if you think out of that twenty thousand uh... five thousand of it is to the cow calf business uh... five thousand of it's to stockers uh... maybe ten thousand or let's make it add up here eight thousand of it's to hay okay and then two thousand of it would be to land and that's how that expense might be split so with each of these things such as labor um, you know uh, utilities all those can be split up this way so what we're looking for here in the land business is just the expenses associated with the land business so under fuel I'm gonna add in looks like five thousand dollars on the fuel business and I think that pretty well captures it yes it does okay um, now here's a spot you can add in some operating capital you can add in some uh, real estate loans if you want to put those in here uh, but again we're looking at just the forage value the ag value of the ranch uh, so you might have other things when you look at your land business like mineral extraction um, royalties those kind of things hunting leases that'll be an analysis outside of, of what we're currently doing so okay so we've got the production side where we know our forage is worth about eighty five thousand dollars and now we've got some costs on these as well where we've put in these costs and and we see we've got about forty thousand dollars there in annual costs uh... for for that ranch so um, now we just need some overhead and this will always be the last component on each of these spreadsheets and it always works the same way so we go back to our overhead worksheet and we're looking at the land business and our total equipment value on the land business is seven thousand six hundred dollars so for my equipment I'm gonna use thirteen percent and for my buildings I'm gonna use eight so now I come back over here to my land spreadsheet and there my numbers are thirteen percent on my equipment and eight percent on my buildings so let's see in my land business now in my overhead worksheet what I had for annual expenses on land okay looks like I had two hundred and ten thousand dollars of building expenses that I'm going to charge annually to that so let's put that number in two hundred and ten thousand two hundred and ten thousand dollars so each year what this means is if I take eight percent of that each year the land business is going to contribute almost seventeen thousand dollars towards the upkeep and repair um, of of those buildings not just keeping them up but replacing them when they when they need to be replaced and uh, the annual repair costs as well so and on the equipment okay I've got seven thousand six hundred dollars for equipment each year the land business is going to contribute just about a thousand dollars towards keeping that equipment up okay so now we're pretty well done with our land business let's look at the summary tab uh, so production cost annual cost in our land business are right around forty thousand dollars we're going to contribute about seventeen or eighteen thousand dollars a year in overhead so our land business is going to cost us about fifty seven thousand dollars a year to operate if that forage is worth eighty five thousand dollars then our land business should turn a profit of about twenty seven thousand twenty eight thousand dollars a year so we'll uh, have those these now this eighty five thousand dollars if we're grazing all that forage ourselves and using it for our own, our own hay business and we're not leasing anything out then those businesses are those other businesses are gonna pay that eighty five thousand dollars so now we're ready to move on to cow calf